and welcome to Tabor Talk. So in case people want to know, it, what I have between my cheek and gum is this. It's Kratom. I chew it. Um, I used to chew uh, Skull, but I quit a long time ago. Uh, I love this stuff. So anyway, my wife said, listen, man, you're going to do a video. Take the shit out of your mouth. I'm like, no, I just put it in. I don't want to waste it. And the lighting is terrible. And um, downstairs, my unfinished uh, basement. But anyway, I'm just going to do this, right? So we saw Donald Trump's tax returns. And it turns out that Donald Trump is the worst businessman in the history of civilization. What an irony. Like, he fooled everyone. I first heard about Donald Trump in the 80s. I grew up in New Jersey. I live in New York. So we knew this guy, and I we had no idea. All you thought, like, oh, Donald Trump, this real estate developer, this real big shot media guy. Look, Trump Tower. This guy is, you know, you know, modern day, you know, Jeff Bezos, whatever, you know. Uh, I didn't know that this whole thing was a scam. It was a fraud. And as it, let me just go back to his tax returns. As it turns out, the only area, the only thing Donald Trump was successful in was the reality show, The Apprentice. It's incredible. I think he made like $450 million on a reality show. And it's, here's the irony the reality show, it's the most fake thing ever. Donald Trump is pretending to be a successful business person, and he's not the worst businessman ever. I mean, you sort of have to hand it to him. Here's a guy who's uneducated, that whole Wharton thing. Yeah, he went there because strings were pulled. pulled. And by the way, he never even took the SATs. Donald Trump or the family had someone take it, or they took it. They, they, were, they paid someone to take his SATs. I mean, listen to the guy. Look at the grammar. He's fucking illiterate. So this basically reads at a third grade level. I've done videos on this if you're interested. But the irony of all ironies is that Donald Trump is the worst businessman who ever lived. And the only thing he's good at is pretending to be a businessman. Now, if that ain't funny, all right. Short one here, pardon the stuff in my mouth, whatever. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here on Taper Talk. I'm going to be doing more on the debates, too. Those horrible debates. Mm -hmm.